ne şeytan rejim bismillahirrahmanirrahim rabbi şrah li sadri ve yassir li amri wahlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli assalamu alaikum my dear student hope you all are doing well our today's topic is the founding leader of pakistan as you know as i told you before you might remember that sometime ing form of the verb or the present participle form of the verb work as a adjective sometime past participle form of the verb work as adjective here you can see the founding leader of pakistan founding here it works as adjective because immediate after that we are having leader that is now and as you know whenever we are having uh, um, after any word we are having a noun so it means it describe the quality or disquality of that thing first of all we are going to discuss the vocabulary whatever vocabulary is given at the end of the uh, chapter or lesson and then we are going to discuss some uh, grammatical points which uh, which are given at the end of the chapter you can take out page 57 we'll discuss that along with part of speech as you know my dear student part of speech is very very important because if you don't know part of speech you will not be able to make a sentence a proper sentence you will not be able to uh, use the given word in a sentence of your own and that is very important later we are going to discuss uh, homonyms and homophones if you know part of speech of any word so that will be very very beneficial for you people you e uh, you can just use that the given word in a sentence of your own and you can properly uh, um, you can properly you, you understand the usage of that word now page number 57 we are going to discuss first the given uh, vocabulary whatever is given at the end of the book and then later we are going to discuss because it's very easy you are not having anything notes has uh, have been given to you people uh, you can just see question whatever question answers are given to you people you have to see or you have to check that check, check out that in the notes and i think you, because you are now in grade 8 you must be able to answer all the given questions by your own because we used to do all these the student used to do all these question by their own concerted is done in a plain in determined way especially by more than one person government or country so this is when concerted uh, we can use it as verb plus adjective but here because done in a plain in determined way so here it is used as adjective concerted way reconciliation is an aim to a disagreement or a start of a good relationship again when you are going to end a uh, disagreement and you are going to get start with a new relationship again that is called reconciliation because it's ending with shan and the start of the meaning is getting start with uh, article n so that is uh, now ab is the period of time when sea flows away from the land the uh, period of time in the sea flows ab of uh, any sea or any um, um, uh, whatever is the, the part of that the part of that sea is called the ab ignited is to start to burn to make something start to burn when you are going to ignition if you have heard this uh, ignition um, uh, the that that stove is having a um, uh, automatic ignition maybe we can just turn it on and that will be ignited so when uh, here it is ignited ignited mean to start to burn here it is used as verb when you are using ignition that would be uh, uh, noun why what what's the aim or what's the purpose of uh, telling you are uh, discussing part of speech, speech with you people that is actually the thing is that this is a very important topic we are going to discuss later on that is formation of words formation of words words would be given to you people for example noun would be given to you people you have to change that into adjective adjective would be given to you people you have to change that into noun and uh, uh, adjective would be given to you people you have to change it into verb this is the very important the most important topic topic in your class 8 so that is the reason that i am discussing every word with you people along with part of speech 
consciousness the state of being able to use your senses and mental power to understand what is happening when you you you, you are having your consciousness when conscious we are using that as adjective when it is ending with ness then it is see the same word it's very clear and it's very easy for you people if you are using conscious it's ending with i o i o u s as i told you when the word is ending with i o u s that would be adjective when the word is ending with ness either with ness or with t y with c y with shan with ism that would be noun Channelizes to direct money, feeling ideas. This is not necessary. That only you will channelize money. You have to channelize anything. That can be either money, or feeling, or idea. Anything when you are going to provide, when you are going to give, that would be channelize. Channelize to direct money, either money, feeling, or ideas. Visionaries, original and showing the ability to think about the uh, to think about are the plain. Are playing the future with great imagination and intelligence. Visionary is uh, again because vision is noun, and visionary is having the visionary power, having the visionary power to uh, handle the difficult situation. So here, visionary is used as adjective. Noble is having fine personal qualities that people admire, such as courage, honesty, and care for others. This is noble and nobility. When we are talking about nobility, it's ending with ty so here noble is adjective ambassador is an official who lives in a foreign country as a sen senior representative there of his or her own country here it's again ambassador it's noun uses noun because an official who lives in any foreign country span is the length of time that sometimes something last are able to continue for a period of time when something is continue for a period of time span of time mean duration of time inspiration is the process that take place when somebody sees or hears something that causes them to have exciting new ideas or makes them want to create something especially in arts music or literature so inspiration the process that take place when somebody sees or hears when you are taking when you want to see something or you you are uh, observing something and you want to take something you uh, uh, some kind of inspiration from that some kind of uh, um, to create something from that person to to have something from that per, that is called inspiration tenacity is the quality of not giving up something easily the quality of being persistent the quality of being persistent mean you are determined to do something you are having the ability to do something with your strength in power and you are not going to give up so that is called tenacity now we are going to discuss because question answer as i told you before that's given and you must have the ability because you are in grade 8 you must have the ability to do whatever questions are given at the end of the book you uh, you should do it yourself because it is your responsibility it is your you must have to read the lesson for a couple of time and you have to understand and you should have the ability to answer the given question at the end of the lesson now we are going to discuss a very important thing that is already you have done it so many time and i think just we are going to revise verb and its type as you know girls it's not a new topic for you people um, that has been you have been doing i think uh, since long time i think for uh, since you were in class uh, 5 you are doing all these thing just we are going to uh, in a bit modified form we are going to discuss that now we are going to discuss first of all we are going to discuss verb and its type you can see girls we are having already just we are going to remind are going to revise all these we are having auxiliary and helping verb that's a kind of just whenever we are using smr was were has have had all these are um, uh, helping verb helping verb then we are having two type of auxiliary verb one is primary auxiliary one is modal auxiliary modal auxiliary as you know we are having should uh, shall uh, so, sorry shall is uh, not a uh, modal auxiliary oath must have um, can could may might these all are modal auxiliary verb 
Then we are having linking in stative verb. If you'll see, we are having uh, actually uh, it works the same. Or we we just we can say it's the same. Whenever you are not having just like when linking or stative verb, sometime it's somehow the same linking in stative because we are using. For example, if I'm using if I'm using stative verb, she is a doctor or she is a teacher because it is. It is a, somehow you can say it's a stative because it show R. If I'm seeing the dice is broken, it shows the state of this dice. Now, if I'm talking about she feels fatigue, she feels fatigue. They are happy. They are happy. They are tired. If now both of them, if I'm using they are tired, it is linking verb plus it is stative verb because it shows the link, it shows or it gives link the subject with the given information. And again, the thing is because it shows the state of a person. So somehow, if you see both linking and stative verb, it's the same. Now we are going to discuss about transitive and intransitive verb. Let me discuss that the student they are getting confused. Transitive verb is it needs an object to complete the sense of a sentence. Here in transitive, sent, uh, transitive verb it is very very important that you should have a verb. But intransitive verb Intransitive verb, it does not need an object to complete the sense. It conveys a complete sense to you people without mentioning or without having an object. For example, let me give you, uh, she walks, she walks on the road. She walks on the road, it does not need any because it gives you complete sense to you people. It conveys complete sense to you people. And walk is a verb which is tran intransitive. It does not need any object. On the road is not an object. Actually, that is complement. For example, let me one example to you people and discuss that uh, along uh, discuss both transitive and intransitive along together for example if i say there are some word which can be used transitively and intransitively for example play cook uh, eat bake these all are the word which can be used intransitively as well now he play he play it's very clear it does not need any object in urdu if we say wo khelta hai it conveys a complete sense to you people but when we are going to use or when we are going to put an object along with it so if we, ha we are saying he play this is actually intransitive because it conveys complete sense to you people here it does not any object it does not need any object but when we wanted to have what uh, what does he play he play cricket he play football whatever is then we are going to mention that he plays cricket now cricket is an object so the same sentence can be used as transitively and intransitively sometimes for example he goes to school goes is a word which we can never use as transitively sleep is a word which we can never use as transitively climb is a word which we can never use as transitively he climbed the tree it conveys a clear complete sense to you people but the thing is you have to keep this in mind if you wanted to do, know that either that is transitive or intransitive verb you have to you try your best to change that sentence in passive voice if the sentence can you can you you can change the sentence into passive voice it means that is transitive set word if you're not able to change the sentence into uh, passive voice that you can easily know or understand that this is intransitive work
I hope you would understand this. Now, next topic is we are going to discuss is regular and irregular verb. Now, let me discuss what is regular and what is irregular verb. It's a type of uh, um, verb we are going to discuss. Regular verb are all those verb, all those verb which in second form, in second form that's taking either second or third form of the verb, it's taking ed. We are talking about talk. Talk is a verb that is taking talked and talked. Play, cook, beck, all of them. If you'll see, all these verbs, they can easily take ed in the first and second form of the verb. Now, when we are talking about the irregular verb, irregular verb are all those verbs, either they, they are having different three uh, par, um, uh, types just like we can we can use it for uh, simple present simple past and past participle if they are different either different or same for example speak spoke spoken speak spoke spoken it's a regular verb you can easily observe that all the three type simple present simple past and past participle they are different from each other when we are talking about for example drink it's taking the spelling is different drink drunk drunk d-r-i-n-k d-r-a-n-k and d-r-u-n-k the same is swim swim swam swam so this is the they they are different from each other the spelling is different and now we are talking about as i told you either that is same or different from each other for example put 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 shut 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 all the three forms simple present simple past and past participle three forms are uh, same and three forms are different when either they are different or same that would be called as a regular verb I hope you would understand that what is regular in a regular verb regular verb is again let me discuss when the verb is taking ed both in the simple past and past participle form and it's only one when irregular either they are the same three simple past three form simple pa present simple past and past participle either they are the same or they are different so it would be a regular verb now we discussed five type of I think that's enough and as you know you must have to you must not have to when someone will ask you that what is verb we must have to discuss that in the beginning but because we now uh, it's not a new topic for you people you have been doing that for a long time so verb does not only show an action it show an action sometimes it show an action sometimes it shows occurrence it shows state of being sometimes it shows Pakistan came into being came into being it's not uh, here it is it shows an occurrence did the, the, that event took place it shows an occurrence it shows state of being state of being for example if I'm writing a very simple sentence here I'm telling you a very simple sentence uh, I am a teacher she you are students if I'm talking about I am a teacher where is the word if I'm talking you are students where is the word so you cannot write as you know as you know this is very obvious that you cannot write a sentence without having a word so where is the word you are students R is word here because it shows the state of student if I'm talking about myself I am a teacher so M is a uh, verb here it shows the state of your teacher now you can just see in a yearbook we are having a topic about the same uh, on page we are going to discuss about the usage of uh, some time because you are having this is very important topic and you must know why what was the reason and what is the reason of teaching you part of speech 
actually it's a topic of here on that topic of class A that we are going to discuss that later on. That is, we can call it as pair of words. We can call it as pair of words. Pair of words would be given to you people. And what you, you have to do, you have to write the part of speech of it. And then you have to use the given word in a sentence of your own. But now we can just, when we are having pair of words, in pair of words, you can easily just uh, uh, divide them into two. One we can call it homonym and the other one is homophone. Let me discuss first homonym. Actually homonym is a word that both sound and spell the same. That both sound and spell the same as another but different in meaning. How different in meaning that I am going to discuss that with you. See here you can you easily see bow and bow. Pronunciation is the same. Spelling is the same. Meaning is different. Now if it would be given to you people and pair of words, what you have to do, you must have, it is not necessary that you have to write the meaning but it is very important that you have to write part of speech of it. I have written for you people, bow is a weapon for shooting. When you are using arrow and bow, you are using that bow, it is a weapon or any instrument for shooting that is called bow. So the part of speech or the grammatical point of this word is noun. So you can see now the meaning is different. Word spelling plus pronunciation it's the same. Now you can see bow to bend. When any uh, in ancient time you might have seen the people or the uh, people while they were coming um, inside uh, in front of the king they bow their head in front of the king. They bow their head. So this is bow means to bend, to bend anything, not only hair. Now you can see iron. Iron is an instrument for ironing clothes. Instrument for ironing clothes when you, you are using iron, just uh, we call it istri in Urdu. Uh, and then we are having iron is here both of, this is sorry, this is verb. Uh, here you can use to press clothes. You can use to press clothes. This is verb to iron clothes or to press clothes. It can be used as noun plus uh, verb. Simply, in a very simple words, I wanted to say when one word is having one word is having two grammatical point, it can be used as homonyms. You can see I have given you some different example for that. We are having fair and fair. As you know, it can be spelled the same, pronunciation is the same, spelling is the same, but it differs in meaning. Fair is noun. You can use fair for uh, um, just like <coughs> I went to attain the fair that took place. I went to attain the fair that took place in Frontier Youth's Academy. Fair is any uh, just like in any event celebrating for uh, for anything for just like a f fun fair we are having any fair. This fair is she's doing or her complexion is fair. Complexion is fair or she is doing fair, it means average. So you can see both of them, its pronunciation and spelling are the same but meaning are different. Now if you will come to write, spelling you can see right and right and here we are having another, uh, you might have observed or you might have seen, we are having another fair as well but then if you are taking this fair, F-A-R-E and uh, fair this can be used as homophone. If you are taking that with this, that can be used as homophone. If both these, it can be uh, pair, it can come in pair of words. The same is we are having right and right. In right you are having these two right are homo nouns. But if you are using this right with it, R-I-T-E, this can be used as verb. But when you are taking these two together, so that would become homo nouns because spelling is different, 
pronunciation is the same and meaning are different now when we are talking about right and right right is adjective right is to the right turn to the right side right side it is used as adjective when we are talking about right it's your right to ask question it's your right to ask question we have to give islam has given complete rights to the woman so this right is mean your uh, whatever is your uh, uh, for example right in urdu we call it as haq fast and fast you can see fast is a word only just let me discuss or let me tell you that fast is a word which is having four grammatical point four part of speech this can be used as noun plus verb plus adjective plus uh, um, not as a, a verb sorry adjective adverb adverb and noun three part of speech first is here adjective she runs fast when we are talking she runs quickly she, she runs very quick here we we she runs fast we use it as adjective when we are talking about she runs very fast here you cannot use or you, you are not supposed to give ly at the end it does not take any ly she runs fastly she runs fastly you cannot use she runs fast she runs very fast so one is adjective and one is adverb so spelling and pronunciation are the same only uh, meaning are different now if you we are talking about left left is as you know left is uh, can be used as to the left side adjective turn to the left side this is adjective when you talk he left to karachi he leave to karachi so this can be used as verb here one is verb and one is adjective so this can be uh, the spelling is the same it's homonyms spelling is the same pronunciation is the same and just only the meaning is different some another example just like match and match we are having matches verb and matches noun to match the column and he won the match answer and answer to give answer to give a reply and a reply so this meaning are different one can be used as noun and another can be used as verb ring ring can be used as uh, uh, in circle or for example ring the ring the given ring the given uh, options or anything it can be used as verb and can be used as noun ring any uh, thing or just a finger ring you can say or anything or just a simple ring you can use it as a uh, in a simple word bear and bear here you can see spelling is the same one is an animal animal living in the uh, forest bear and another bear is having uh, bear mean to tolerate it can be used as verb so here you can just easily know that when a word is spelled as spelled or pronounced the same and uh, sound and spell the same so this is called as homona now we are going to talk about homophones there are many homophones homonyms are um, uh, less in number but there are many homophones and both of them comes in pair pair of words a word that is pronounced is same but different spelling different spelling in meaning also i haven't mentioned here but you should know when it is just only pronounced the same pronounce the same then different in meaning different in spelling in meaning that is called what that is called homophone now you can see you can see pray and pray pray and pray here p r e y this word can be used is both of them can you tell me how this can be homonyms as well how pray and pray both because pray here is to do a pray and simple a pray. to do a pray or simple it can be used this word itself can be used as homonym this word itself can be used
use is homonym and here you can see pray and pray one is taking p r a y this can be used as noun and can be used as verb that is why we can use it as homonyms this can be used as plus noun plus verb because noun shikar or shikar karna so this can be used as homonym but when we are uh, combining them together we can use them as homophone pray is we pray allah to give us a successful life he always the line prays the line eats its prey here we can use it as noun now pair and pair pair and pair this is both it can be used as noun it can be used as noun it's a fruit and pair of two girls uh, pair of uh, words pair of anything pair of sentences made and made we are having it's again pronunciation is the same differ, different in meaning and in <coughs> spelling middle is just like made and made you know the meaning middle is whenever just like middle is adjective in the middle of anything and middle is to interfere um, in someone's affair so this is called he he middling is not a good habit or he must not we must not middle in others affair so this is against pronunciation is only the same spelling is different and meaning is different metal and metal metal is a piece of any metal p metal any uh, anything and metal is when you are having a courage he is having the metal to perform on the stage so metal and metal c pronunciation is the same different in meaning and different in spelling so this is called homophone then we are having just like advice and advice lesson and lesson naughty and naughty naughty is as you know naughty is adjective both of them are adjective but spelling is spelling is different and meaning is different naughty is a person who is very mischievous naughty is complicated so this is here you can easily observe that when a word is only pronounced the same and different in meaning and spelling that is called homo so i hope you would understand whatever we have discussed today and if you are having any uh, problem any question you can ask me in comments uh, um, hope for the best allah hafiz and have a nice time